Today, I'm out at Charlotte. We're gonna do some jerk leg quarters. Yeah. With using the vortex. Yo, this is Dash. Get ready. So, <clears throat> I am back out at Charlotte here, and I'm gonna go ahead and get my leg quarters on. I'm gonna get the top off. <laughs> We're just gonna get these in here. No real rhyme or reason. I have eight leg quarters here, so I'm gonna try to get them I don't know, we're just gonna fit them in here. Well, we have a little bit of a fire going on down here. I don't have my spray bottle out here, but I'm gonna grab it in a second and put that little bit of fire out. Obviously, the more air that's down in here, we're gonna have some flare ups. Now that I've closed it back off, it should be fine. But that's probably just some grease that collected at the bottom of that vortex and I'm gonna get some wood chips I have some cherry wood chips that I'm gonna put directly over top of the I'm gonna put directly over top of the vortex to help get some smoke flavor in there because today I'm actually using Kingsford charcoal and not using any lump charcoal so I want a little bit more flavor in there You notice I didn't soak those chips or anything like that. I really, I don't see the point. Uh, you can soak yours if you care to, but if anything, out of anything I would actually soak, it would probably be the chips, but I really don't want to soak the chips because I want that immediate hit from that smoke to get infused with those chicken leg quarters. So I'm going to go head back in the house. I got some other things I need to take care of. I'm going to let this hang out. It's a uh, quarter to five. So actually, I need to run to the post office to check the peel box. Oh, you. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. Thank you. Shout out to BT Lee for sending out some sauces. Dude, I appreciate that. All right, so just like I said, BT Lee sent out some sauces. So if you're not following him or don't know who he is, check him out on Instagram. And he also, I believe he might have a YouTube channel, but I'm gonna link his Instagram. We'll just put it like right up there. I started following him the other day. I followed him back. Cool, man. I, dude, I appreciate that. I some sauces. I'll open it up in another video. Time for me to get back home and get back on these chicken leg quarters, though. All right, so I'm back out at the grill. It's been about 45 minutes. And, man, this chicken looks pretty darn good. I'm going to flip these leg quarters over. Get some heat on the underside of them. But we are definitely looking good here. I don't think they're anywhere near done yet. But 
ていくよく。Open up my vent down at the bottom so we can get a little more heat in here. And we'll let these finish or continue to cook. <laughs> Alright, so I had the grill with on the inlet just a quarter open, a quarter of the way open. So I go ahead and I went ahead and I flipped it open to three quarters of the way open just to hope or help this whole thing. Move along a little more quickly. I'll be back out here 15, 20 minutes to check on these things, but they're looking great so far. All right, so I am. Uh, I'm back out of the grill. And I'm just gonna check when these. It's been another 15 minutes. I know they're not, I don't believe they're done yet. Start checking temperatures here. Oh man, we're at 165. Let's get right down in there. Yeah, these are actually done. Look at that. Hopefully you guys can see. Right down there at the bone. Oh, yeah, we are tipped out. All right, I'm gonna flip these these guys over one more again. Whoops! And I just want to get a nice char on this top edge, nice and crispy on that skin. But they look great. I might actually eat one. You guys who have been hanging around long enough or have been around the channel long enough know I'm not actually a big leg quarter fan. But these look pretty darn good. I just want to get like I want the skin to like this under the skin to get just a little crispier and actually I'm gonna tempt these guys on the top side likes the her chicken wings and chicken legs a little overdone so I'm gonna let these sit out here for a little while longer I am going to turn the, the intake down a little bit and I'm gonna let these hang out out here for a little while longer I'm gonna go get my side prepared in the house Right, so I am back out at Charlotte and my turkey, excuse me, turkey legs. Uh, if you didn't, I did do a video on turkey legs up there. I'll put it up there. But my chicken leg quarters are done. I'm going to go ahead and get these guys off. Yes. We even have a taste test of number three size one.
take a moment, clean the grate up a little bit while it's still hot. So judge away, I made some of these uh, quick mashed potatoes, like I said, judge away. My wife is a meat and potatoes kind of gal. So meat and potatoes, it's one of this. All right, so now when I make these potatoes, I do follow the instructions for the most part, but I do add, I added a half stick of butter to these things. More butter, baby. <laughs> yeah, money. They are great for what they are. All right, let's see. Hopefully my thermometer didn't lie. All right, look, I don't even know why I'm doing that. I want this skin. I'm going to take this skin off and eat that. Nice, crispy. All right, let's just trying to be nice and use a fork. Forget that. We're just going to dig in here. Huh. Very good. Actually. Look what I have. <laughs> you guys don't know. That's a piece of chicken butt. Mm. My favorite pieces of chicken. Oh man. You know what it is? I'm hungry. But cooked perfectly, not dried out. Mm. But this. Good jerk flavor. I'm sorry. I'm just like going to town because I'm hungry. <laughs> I kind of forgot you guys were up there. Hey, look, thanks again as always for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Another example of a pretty easy meal, meat and potatoes, perfect. Anyway, thank you again as always for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. If you like what you saw today or if you learned something, please leave me a comment down below as well as a thumbs up. Don't forget to turn the notification bell on so you can be notified whenever one of these videos goes live. Speaking of live, I go live on Wednesday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern. We talk for about two hours, something barbecue or barbecue business related. For the first hour, the second hour, we kind of shoot the breeze, talks amongst friends. Make sure you bring a cold refreshment with you. Anyway, thanks again as always for watching. I'll see you next time. More butter, baby. <laughs>